Hi everybody, it's Oksana and today I want to tell you about this foundation. It is a pressed powder foundation called Larenum or Larenum, however you would like to pronounce that. There's a little spongy applicator in a separate compartment. Here is the spelling of the name because I'm probably saying it wrong. My color is is this upside down? No, number 2WM, which I'm assuming means too warm. And here are the ingredients. If you want to check them out, it does have some dimethicone in there. So if you don't use silicones, I believe there is um, dimethicone coated titanium dioxide. And that's pretty much it in terms of questionable ingredients, I think. And not that silicones are questionable, but you know, I know some people don't react well with them. My skin does really well with silicones, so I'm okay with using them. I really like Bora Nitride and Allura Lysine. Um, when they are in mineral makeup, they just feel so silky, buttery smooth, and I just love them. So I was really excited about those two ingredients, and that's actually part of the reason that I bought this foundation in the first place. So let me do a little swatcheroo for you guys. I do have a demo of me applying this. So here is what the number 2WM, oh sorry, I have a swatch of an eyebrow cream. Here's what the color looks like. It's actually a really good match for me. I don't know why I always swatch things on the back of my hand because it's tan now in the summer. Here we go, see that? Good match. Very silky, creamy, buttery, smooth, blends out nicely. I do have it on my face, but I use it to set a liquid foundation that's kind of a lighter coverage foundation. So I use it to add coverage and to set it. Um, so the finish that you see is this powder. And I think the finish is really nice. It's a very natural, very beautiful, um, you know, doesn't look powdery or dry at all. So that's definitely, you know, props to this powder for having a nice finish. The coverage I think is really good too. I did not build it up today since I was just setting it. I used a light um, application, like a fluffy brush to just lightly dust it all over. But if you wanted to build coverage and you wanted to use a kabuki brush and just buff it in, you can get really good coverage out of this foundation. I bought this quite a while ago and I'm sorry that it took me so long to make this video. It's because I recorded <laughs> a similar video uh, maybe like a week or two ago and then I lost the footage. So this is try number two. Um, I am planning on inserting a clip in a few minutes here of me applying this on a different day. I wanted to show you guys what it looks like completely on its own. So today I'm showing you what it looks like used you know, to set another foundation applied lightly but I will go ahead and show you actually right now, um, and then I'll talk more about this powder. I'll show you right now that clip of me wearing it just on its own. All right, so I am applying the foundation with this very dirty sponge. This is more of like a real spongy sponge because the one that comes in here is, I don't know how to describe it. It's, it's different. It's not the typical kind of sponge. It's almost like covered in fuzz. I don't know if you know what I mean, but I like this one better and I think it works better. So I'm going to go ahead and do half of my face. I'll do this half so you guys can see the difference it makes. So this is half of my face done, half not done. So I think it has pretty decent coverage. It's pretty buildable with the sponge. Like if I were to go back and try to build it up a little bit right here, I feel like it does a decent job. The finish is kind of a soft, natural finish, not too matte, not too dewy. So let me do the other side of my face and then I'll show you what it looks like all together. All right, so here is my full face done. Um, I don't have a <laughs> blush and other makeup on. I do have a little bit of under eye concealer. So, you know, I look all funny, all one color. 
But basically this is the coverage and the finish that it has. So here's what it looks like with the rest of my makeup done. Today is a very, very minimal makeup day, but I think the blush always makes a difference in, you know, how non-ghostly I look. So I think it has a decent coverage and a decent finish. It's not like the heavy, heaviest coverage, uh, but it is at least medium, and you can kind of build it up somewhere between medium and heavy. So... That's what that looks like. So as you saw there, um, it does look really nice on its own. When I first got this, I really wanted to wear this using the spongy applicator. I just love the idea of putting a powder on with one of these. Just dip it in, just bam, bam, bam. You're done, quick, easy. You get really good coverage that way. And it did work pretty well, but this was also during like the hottest some of the hottest days that we had here when it was 100 degrees out, so humid. And I noticed that it wasn't wearing too well throughout the day for me. It was getting kind of like patchy in certain areas, especially like around my nose and stuff. And I was getting oily because of the heat and like just sweating even though my skin naturally is dry to kind of, it gets normal in the summer. So I wasn't sure what was going on with this. I did mention it to you guys in another video. I wanted to play around with it more, um, but I couldn't touch it up. That, that was my biggest problem. Not that it was getting patchy because I feel like everything's gonna melt off your face in this kind of weather, but the fact that if I tried to touch it up with a sponge, it just kind of like spread the patchiness around. It made it worse instead of covering it up because the powder that was already on my face was mixing with the oils and the sweat and it was like forming this layer of goob and I was just spreading it around with the sponge, you know what I mean? So um, then it got less hot out and I started having a lot better luck it stopped doing that. It's still really hot out, but it's just not 100 degrees. <laughs> and Or maybe I'm just not outside as much. But something happened and I feel like it just started performing better. Maybe because of the weather, because that's really the only thing I can think of. I did try applying it with a brush. Sometimes I like the way um, that it applies and looks better with a brush just because it's really blended and really buffed in versus with a sponge. But the sponge is also really nice and it's quicker. You get really good coverage either way. Um, sometimes going over it with a damp beauty blender afterwards helps too with the lasting uh, power and it takes away some of the excess powder too so that it's less prone to getting um, kind of cakey and patchy looking throughout the day. Wearing a primer underneath helps a ton also. So if it is really, really hot where you live and you know, you're oily and sweaty and you have a problem with it lasting, then I do recommend a primer. The one that I have been using, I'll write the name of it because I can't remember, but it's a caffeinated primer. It's like a little spray that I got on Vitacost ages ago and it works really well. I apply it with a cotton ball. I just spray it on the cotton ball and almost apply it like a toner and then you can kind of mist your face afterwards as well. So that works really well for a primer. I haven't tried a real like a silicone lotion type primer. I just tried the spray and I was happy with it so I just kind of stuck with that. Um, this powder works really good for setting other products. So overall I'm really happy with this powder. I like the creamy feel and texture. I like that it doesn't look too matte, that it doesn't look too dry or powdery. Um, I like that it looks really kind of smooth and airbrushed. I'm very happy with it. Um, I would just say, you know, you might have to adjust your application and use something underneath or over it if you are going to be in really hot weather and you're going to be sweating or getting oily. And like I mentioned before, I haven't had that problem since. So um, if you want a powder that has good coverage, that kind of has a creamy finish and look to it. Maybe your skin's a little drier. You don't like some of the uh, drier, more powdery powders. <laughs> I said the word powder like three times there. Then definitely check this out. I do recommend it. It is 20 something dollars. Relatively affordable, but not super cheap. You can find it on Vitacost, which is where I got it. I'm not sure if it's on iHerb or not. But just a, a good pressed powder to have. It's definitely nice to find a natural pressed powder. 
to, you know, have in your purse or wherever. This is kind of a thicker compact because it does have that bottom compartment. So it's not like a very skinny small compact in case you're wondering for throwing in your purse and travel and stuff like that. But it is sturdy, has a nice, you know, good feel to it. And they do have a decent range of shades. This 2WM seems to work really well for me. They have cool toned shades as well. So um, I like it. I like it and I plan to keep using it. So I wanted to do this review for you guys. Hopefully it's helpful. If you have any questions, leave them down below. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.